Stick around and we'll get right to it. Hey, I'm Chris from Buddy Pole, and uh, this is our new Power Pro device. So this falls in line with our, um, our Power Mini, which has been out for a few years now, solar controller, and our uh, Power Plus device, which is a uh, um, battery backup and um, UPS um, DC power supply in, and then we have all the, the breakouts on the top. We now have a newer version, which kind of takes the best of both worlds here. So um, the solar charge controller is MPPT, and we have uh, a boost function here. So for the first time, we can um, take voltage down to say 11 volts coming out of your panel, still be able to charge your battery. So you have a, uh, a very good battery charger in here, multiple battery chemistries. So it's gonna peak up your battery um, um, and just keep it at, at peak voltage. You can run off the battery, you can run off the uh, DC power supply, or you can run off uh, the solar panel. And you have options here to select which input um, is powering your devices off the other side. USB-C um, coming out from here and then two sets of Anderson power poles at um, 40 amps. New color display is, um, shows up really good in, even out in the sunlight. And um, we have a uh, CNC machine knob that um, allows us to go between the menus, the selections, and then you can come down, select your battery chemistry gear. You can charge up to 10 amps on that, that battery. Uh, most of the time I, I wouldn't be charging with that much, but you can do that. And then we have our um, trip voltages and uh, 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 alarms. So you can set an alarm when the battery gets starts getting too low and then we have a cutoff as well. Um, same for over voltage. And a number of other items through the, uh, the menu select here. So. Um, peak power that's come in from the panel um, from the time that you first connect it and um, the maximum uh, net charge, how much you've actually put into the battery from the point at which you hook up your solar panel and how much you've drawn out of the battery as well. So, so it'll do all the tracking just like monitoring the... Monitoring uh, all that stuff, yes. Uh, even more so than the, than the Power Mini. So. Okay, yeah, because I've been a huge fan of the Power Mini for several years now. Yeah. Now, this will also do uh, auto swap over, so if you right. lose commercial power, it'll automatically right. swap to yep, the battery, Yep, you don't even right? notice it. It just rolls right over. You notice the light here, so it'll come on and it'll show you which um, what it's pulling off of at that time. And uh, let's see if I can go back to the main menu. And then, um, so I've selected the battery now. So you see the green, it's, it's gonna be pulling. I don't have a load on here right now, but it'll be pulling off of that. But if I wanted to switch over to DC power and I can pull only off a of DC, it's showing now that the battery, it's connected, but it, it, it's not um, outputting any power. And then um, it's actually, uh, set to the DC power supply, but I don't have I don't have it hooked up right now. So right. otherwise, it'd be green. Or you can do auto select, and it'll choose between those. And most of the time, well, the only one active is the battery, so it's selecting the battery now. Okay. Um, What's the retail going to be on this? It's going to be to be determined. Uh, um, in the uh, like mid 300s, 349, 329 to 349 um, is what we're targeting right now. Mid okay. July on this one, we're just putting it into production. We just got back our feedback from our beta testers and everything looks good. So um, about ready to, to have this to market. Awesome, I'm looking yeah. forward to getting one of these. Yeah, super, thank All you. All right, man, thank you so much. You bet.